Okay, so we now have the ITC413. Now, this is going to be a game changer to the ITC department. ITC is Intelligent Traffic Camera, and of course, this product is incredibly feature rich. Okay, now the 413 is a all-in-one structured AMPR camera, as you can see the actual back box is included within the actual device. This is the 4 megapixel version supporting H.264 and H.265 and it has built-in AI technology. Okay, so as you can look from the design of this product, then of course we have the tighten up screw here to be able to do all of your access and gimbals and all sorts. Um, we've got the back box as stated is already included. You've got your rain hood on the front. And of course this time you have four IR illuminators, speaker on the bottom, microphone on the front. Let's talk about the inbuilt AI. So this camera has been pre-programmed with 147 logos of different vehicles, 12 solid colors, and nine vehicle types between like bus, lorry, car, so on and so forth. So all of that AI is in the camera's head within the ITC. Now, the 413 actually comes from our access department. So, of course, that's in fact actually entrance and exit. Okay, when we say AMPR on other product categories, we're talking about overload. Now, so this is, of course, obviously from access. So, of course, that's entrance and exit. There are three unique features within this product that I think are simply amazing. First one is pedestrian detection. So, where a car should be going regularly, then of course it could be dangerous for a person to in fact actually walk in that area. So of course if this camera was to detect a human within the field of view within that specific area, then of course the alarm will fire. Please stay off the road. Please stay off the road. Also the same again with loitering detection. If you're loitering around barrier control, well, that could of course obviously be dangerous. So of course, if a person is detected within the actual field of view, and of course they haven't moved on, then of course loitering detection will trigger also. Now, another feature, final feature for this particular element is of course obviously unlicensed detection, okay? So of course the camera has been designed to look at vehicle shapes, look at vehicle logos, colors of the vehicle. However though, if that vehicle did not have a registration plate and it was unlicensed, then of course it would trigger the alarm on the product as well. Now, the three key events that I actually like, pedestrian detection, loitering detection, unlicensed detection, all of them have the ability for our new text-to-speech event configuration. I can literally go into the camera, type a few words of what I want the camera to say, and if the event was to trigger based on the event in question, pedestrian detection, then of course it would literally say what I type in the text-to-speech program. And I think that's fantastic. It's so easy to program that. And of course you can literally make your AMPR camera say whatever you wish. Now, let's talk about the audio of this product. So the camera does support two-way audio and the speaker on the bottom of this product is probably the loudest that we've ever created. This is by far our loudest camera so far that we've created on the production line. Now I tested it as well. I drive a quite large two liter diesel vehicle and I put this, this camera two and a half meters in front of the vehicle while I was in a seated position on the inside. And of course I did then triggered a event, which in this case here was my actual AMPR read. It read it back to me. I heard it perfectly. And whenever I did a two-way audio challenge using the computer or DMSS, I can hear the camera just fine all the way over the large sounding engine that I have within the vehicle. I could hear it just fine. This is by far our loudest camera. So with the audio settings, two-way audio on this product is definitely feasible. You could in fact actually say, log into the actual camera, have a dialogue with somebody, say, sorry, your vehicle is not known by the system. They will hear that because of the volume of this product. And of course, if there was any type of visual alarm needed, then of course we have the red and blue event light on the bottom to be able to detect a event or to communicate a error to the actual person that would be driving past or through into the barrier control.
To finalize on this particular product, then of course in this case here, it does support the Wigan output and of course we did connect it to a Paxton solution and it was very, very easy. Okay, so of course by far um, this has been the easiest camera to connect to a third party using the Wigan. I think we got it up and running in 10 minutes flat maybe. That's a unique selling point for this particular product range. Obviously there is a lot of Wigan opportunities out there. Okay, now another feature to the ITC413 camera is the remote control that comes with the device. Now, this device uh, has four buttons, but two of them are utilized for the actual 413, and it will be able to provide a lock and unlock facility. However, though, to be more specific, this remote control will in fact actually control the relay state of the back of the ITC camera itself. Now, if you go down that route, that opens up the possibility of a thousand different automated features. So yes, it could in fact actually be a gate, but then of course it could be a barrier, it could be a shutter, it could also be uh, a siren, or it could be lighting control. The, uh, the actual relays themselves will have a electrical tolerance, and with this remote control, you have the ability to control that. The camera has a built-in frequency detector of 886 megahertz, which is of course obviously the same frequency as this remote control. But because it's a standard 868, then technically speaking, it doesn't actually have to be this remote control. You could use any form of 868 remote control to be able to control the state of your AMPR camera. We're configuring the actual 413, that is incredibly simple. So of course, back in the day when we had the 237, 215, the rules were simple. You had to do your detection area, then you had to do your detection line whenever the car went through, then of course it would capture an AMPR read. You don't need to do any of that with this particular product. Actually, this camera detected my vehicle going by just straight out of the box. I hadn't even visited that part of the actual camera's configuration. Uh, the camera on default will a capture area and then of course if you drive past within the actual field view automatically immediately it will in fact actually capture the license plate registration it took it took us about 10 minutes to in fact actually get Paxton up and running however though it took me about one minute to get my first plate read as my vehicle went past NV71MYB welcome to Dama Technology Okay, so I think the 413 ITC camera is a brilliant product. So, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All the best.